What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, Apple released iOS 8.4 beta 1. Let's take a look at what's new. So today, April 13th, 2015, Apple went ahead and surprised us completely and went ahead and introduced iOS 8.4 beta 1. They released it uh, to developers. Now, overall, there really isn't anything big about this update besides the fact that the music app, yes, the music app has been completely redesigned from the ground up. Now, not a lot of people use music uh, anymore. They don't buy music. They don't use the music app on their iPhone. Instead, they use things, uh, alternatives like Spotify or SoundCloud, which you can see I have both installed here on my iPhone because I've stopped using music. Um, but that's all changed after Apple went ahead and updated this app. It's completely different now. It's got a beautiful new interface that's really nice looking. Um, and the main reason for this change we're all thinking is because Apple is bound to release their very own music streaming service uh, come this WWDC uh, in June of 2015. Um, so I've had a couple hours to play around with it. And even though I haven't used music in quite some time, like I said, I switched it over to Spotify um, and I use SoundCloud occasionally if I can't find stuff that I want on Spotify. Um, I gotta say, this mu this new music app really isn't bad at all. Uh, it's got a really nice new streamlined design. There's three tabs on the bottom, My Music, Playlists, and Radio. Um, and we're assuming that Radio may or may not stay. Apple may leave it, they may pull it. Um, but it's got this really nice uh, streamlined design interface. So for example, I could hop into a playlist. You can see it's a completely different layout going on here. So I'll just pick a song. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause just so we don't uh, interrupt our audio here. But you can see it's got a really nice design. I could scrub through my audio at the top here uh, if I wanted. Um, I could swipe down really nicely and just kind of swipe away. And there's a little mini player at the bottom. And no matter what tab I go to, um, that mini player just always stays there. And at any time, I can swipe right back up and get right back to the song I'm listening to. So this I actually notice is very reminiscent uh, of most music streaming services for iOS um, and other smartphones on the market right now so that's what really kind of gave me the hint uh, that Apple would most likely be um, using something like this and testing something like this for their upcoming streaming service and I'm quite impressed with how it looks and of course it's the first beta it's a little bit buggy um, and that's something to expect of course with any beta um, but it'll be nice to see how they improve it as time goes on other than that there's new features where you could search your music or radio and I'm sure this search um, is also going to become uh, also very important when the streaming service comes along so you could search up any song basically Basically, I, I believe what they're doing right now is just using this so we can test it out and work all the bugs out um, for the great devs over at Apple so they can release a really nice uh, piece of software when it comes to their streaming service. And so everything is pretty much just about the same. It's just a different design that will go along uh, with their upcoming service that they hopefully introduce. So I'm looking forward to it a lot. I've been mean, paying for Spotify for probably over two and a half years now. Um, and that's come to a lot. It's 10 bucks a month. I actually added my brother on the plan, so it's 15 bucks a month. Um, so I'm looking to cut that bill maybe in half. Um, and I'm hoping that Apple has some competitive prices that will convince me to switch. But other than that, that's about it. That is the new music app in iOS 8.4 beta. Um, I definitely recommend you guys go download this. And I'm going to tell you exactly the best way to, since, of course, this is available only to developers right now. I exclusively it's not available to the public just yet it probably won't be um, for another month or two so I'm going to tell you exactly how you can get this brand new experience from Apple right now as you can see my iPhone 6 plus is running version 8.4 so this is done of course by the great folks over at udidregistrations.com now I've been working with them for quite a long time um, and they're sponsoring this video um, but also they provide a really great service they have my iPhone 6 plus registered and running the latest betas always uh, from Apple so you basically just come here go to the buy it now tab so they have a couple packages here I recommend either going with the silver or gold package actually right now there's a 20% off coupon code and you can use 20 off on the silver or gold package so you'll get some really great prices and I recommend both of these packages because they come with the most in the package um, that you can guarantee when you're registering your your iDevice, you'll pretty much have everything attached with it, such as instant processing, certificate and provisioning, premium membership, uh, device replacement, and of course, it's just most capable. And that's if you go with the full gold package. The silver lacks some in that area, um, but that's also a great package as well. And like I said, if you use that coupon code, you're getting 20% off. Now, this is actually really good too, as WWDC is coming up in just less than two months. And this is the cheapest you'll get to prepare for WWDC. Um, as you know, with any UDID registration site, prices always go up uh, when it comes to WWDC. WWDC and 
And since it's only a two month gap or whatever the time frame is, um, you know, your device is going to be registered still when it comes to iOS 9. So honestly, guys, this is probably the best time to register your device. Um, you can't go wrong. Uh, you can't beat these prices at all. Um, so this is definitely something that you should do and get out of the way. Also, there's tons of havoc uh, during WWDC. You know, sometimes the dev center goes down and uh, sites like this um, are always getting slammed uh, with orders and requests and so many people want access to the latest betas. Of course, they're going to try their hardest um, to bring you their service as quickly as possible, but they're only human behind these screens after all. So it's a little difficult. However, uh, like I said, it's best if you register now um, to go ahead and prepare for WWDC. Now, as you know, just last year, Apple released the public beta program where anybody could have access uh, after being on a waiting list to the public betas of iOS. Now, there's a couple bad sides to this. Um, and so first off, you're not getting all of the features with public beta that you will with developer beta. Developers get uh, the features firsthand. That's another point. They get all the newest features firsthand and immediately while public betas, you know, they lack a little bit and they get the newest features much later on after they've been tested thoroughly by the developers. When you register with this site, um, you're getting developer beta, so you're getting the most recent and the newest, and you'll be one of the first to be running um, the most recent stuff from Apple. Also, for every third developer beta, there's one public beta, so put that into perspective. If there's six betas, that means you'd only be getting two with public, and you'd be getting six with this site, and obviously you're going to want more betas, so you can just see how much more improvements there are and how many more features uh, come down the line. You'll have access to it, like I said, a lot sooner. Also, Apple's public beta program is very limited and you have to wait on a waiting list. Why would you want to do that? If you go with UDIDregistrations.com, you're guaranteed to have your iDevice registered almost instantly and you could be running the betas in no time. It's perfect. And for this type of price versus paying a hundred bucks for the actual iOS developer program, you're much better off going with this. Now legally guys, we cannot provide links to actually go ahead and download the betas. However, sites like ATFDL and other third parties provide some of the best betas and they upload them the quickest so you can access them. So definitely be checking for that. Don't think you're out of luck after you've registered. Trust me, there are plenty of sites that offer the latest betas. You just gotta do a little digging around. So you'll want to make sure you register again with UDIDregistrations.com. I'll leave their link down in the description below. Remember, at checkout, you can use the code 20OFF to get 20% off of the silver or gold packages, which, of course, are the best. Of course, you want to go with the silver or gold packages because they offer the biggest bang for your buck. And also, uh, if you register with any package, you are preparing for WWDC before all the havoc um, and prices go up. So this is an opportunity you don't want to miss out on. But anyways, guys, there you go. That is iOS 8.4 beta 1 and the brand new music app that Apple's offering with their developer betas. All links will be down in the description so you can get your iDevice registered and further details um, about the beta and stuff like that. So go check it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.